Thank you all for volunteering for this next story. Keep your hands up. Ange? Yes, sir. Would you randomly... Randomly. ...mosey out into the audience hmm. and randomly select five volunteers... Let me see. ...to, to help us with this next story. Who can I choose? You know, you all like to come up here. Hmm. Hmm. Would you like to join us? Would you like to join us? Would you like to join us? And you guys have to join us as well. I found some good guys to help us with the story. Uh, Angela, dear, did you randomly select? I did, but look, they all have the same vest on. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, gentlemen. Would you like to, from closest to me, to, to I think they might need your mic. Uh, they got a mic? You got a mic? Maybe just say your first name uh, from this way to that way. Sure. My name's Mike Honeyman. Mike Nichols. Gary McBride. Russ Blackstone. Mike Holmes. Well, thank you, gentlemen. If you, I think we're going to start this way. Do you have any musical uh, ability whatsoever? No. Uh, <laughs> one out of the six of us. This one, uh, this story I wrote, I think I wrote it probably a week after February 1st, 1993. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. This one's called Happy Birthday, Adelina. Well, I wouldn't have missed this moment for the world. Her first sounds were loud, and unforgettable. <laughs> In a beautiful, thunderous crescendo. She was on key, not like I was. She sang this five word song repeatedly as the nurse carried her to the far side of the room. She sang with all her might as the doctor looked at me and said, Congratulations. She's a scream. She sang the second verse during footprinting. Yeah, that was not exactly, but it was pretty close. She sang the third verse during a sponge bath. And you've been rehearsing. <laughs> She sang the fourth verse when the nurse placed her name tag on her tiny ankle. She seemed to like her name, Adelina Elizabeth, as she sang. <laughs> Not exactly the way I remembered it, but pretty close, Gary. Well, the nurses joined in the chorus, and the anesthesiologist tapped up the beat with his toe. And even the doctor started to hum as my tired wife smiled as only a first-time mom could. She sang, hanging on that last note. Rush, you want to try that last note one more time to really hang on it? Thank you. <laughs> These are bringing back memories. Swaddling in blankets didn't dim her spirit or quiet her song. She sang the fifth and sixth verses at the top of her lungs as the nurse carried her back across the room and into my open arms. And this moment in time will forever be frozen in my memory. You may want to cover your ears. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah. She sang like an angel, happy to be alive, a 
so I held her for the first time, and then it happened. I bowed my head, and I whispered to her softly, It's okay, Adelina, my ballerina. Daddy's here. And right then, like magic, her singing stopped, and she started to coo. The room quieted. The nurses and doctors all smiled under their masks, and their eyes said what we all knew. She had heard me after all. She knew my voice, and I loved hers. Thank you. Keep it up. 